الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our brothers and sisters in faith, wherever they may be, wherever they may be suffering. And we ask Allah wa ta'ala to help specifically our brothers and sisters in Yemen, in the Maj, who are suffering at the hands of the wrath of the Shia, those who refuse and fight and throughout history have fought the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and that all Muslims should be aware of their danger and their evil and their tilbis, their deception, the way they deceive the Muslims in general by claiming that they are from them when in fact every turn throughout history they've proven that they are against Islam and the people of Islam. As Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentioned in his Majmu'a Fatawa, the Shaykh said, Akfur min al-Yahud wa Nasara. That the Rafada, when he described the Rafada, that he described them as being having more disbelief than the Jews and Christians. Part of the reason why this is the case because the Rafada, as pillars of their faith, they firstly they don't take from the sources of the Muslims, meaning they don't take from the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, they have their own fabricated books. So even when debating, if one were to try to debate with the Rafada, their sources the places that you would return to as something that is agreed upon would differ with a Sunni, would differ with the people of Islam. It would be as if one were to try to explain to Hindus and debate with them and using the Quran as a source. Because the Hindus themselves don't believe in the Quran. And some sects of the Rafada even believe the Qur'an is, has contradictions or that the Qur'an is mistaken. No Muslim could possibly believe this. This is kufr. This takes you out of the fold of Islam for the person who holds this belief. So another point about the Rafada is they as a sect the Shia, you know, those divisions be, were began as are related in the history books of Islam by a person who posed uh, as a Muslim. A person who claimed to enter Islam and when they uh, did this act and they, and, and they deceived the Muslims, they spread fitna and trials and tribulations in the community of the Muslims. For example, uh, Ibn Saba, I believe his name is Ibn Saba, he is the one who began the Shia and he encouraged the people to uh, kill Uthman, to rebel against Uthman, Ibn Affan, and to where his fitna reached a point to also the killing and the martyrdom of Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran about the people of fitna, the people of trial and tribulation, who claim to bring good but only bring and spread evil. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْلِمُونَ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in the Qur'an, He said, And when it is said to them, Do not cause a, a trial and harm and evil, do not spread evil throughout the earth. They say, Verily, we are the people who spread uh, Peace. We're the peacemakers. We're the people who bring goodness to the people. As we see this 
is the claim of many of the people of disbelief, that they claim to bring good, they claim to do things, they claim to wage war in the sake of, uh, for, for humanitarian means. They claim to spread democracy for, uh, through blood. This is their claim. And Allah speaks about the people of fitna, the people of disbelief, the people who, of, who cause disunity amongst human beings, and especially in the body of the Muslims, that when it is said to them, don't spread this evil, they said, verily, we are the people who spread peace. And then Allah says about them, Allah innahum humul mufsidun, verily they are, but rather they are the people who spread disharmony, who spread evil. Allah wa innahum mufsidun, lakin la yash'arun, but yet they, they're unaware. As if they are unaware and they don't, they don't know that they're spreading evil. This is the case of Garatana. This is the case of the beginning of this deviant sect, which has caused pain and disunity amongst the body of the Muslims since its inception. Also, another very important point that we have to realize is as a pillar of their faith, they curse the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ajma'in. So never could someone from the people of Islam accept this. Never could you say that so-and-so is my brother who is a Rafidi Shi'i or believes in the twelve Imams and that they are uh, people who are sinless and, 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 and raised them to the level, if not a greater level, than the Prophet Sallallahu Never could you accept this as a Muslim, as a rational, believing Muslim who believes in the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Never could you accept this. Never could you accept the, the, from a person to claim, them, claim themselves to be a Muslim and curse the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu where the Prophet Sallallahu said, La tasubbu ashabi. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in many narrations, do not curse my companions. This is, these are authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to assist Ahlul Sunnah wherever they may be struggling. And to assist and support and help the people of Islam in general. And guide us to, the, uh, to that which is correct and help us in all of our affairs against those people who, and those devils who wish us harm. And when we ask Allah the Almighty for good and protection, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.